In today's video, how to use creatine monohydrate to build muscle. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss creatine monohydrate and how to best use it to build muscle. And if you enjoy these type of videos where I explain the basics of how to build muscle, how to lose fat, how to look good, click the subscribe button below because I'm going to keep them coming. And today's question is about creatine monohydrate. Now, this is a question that I get so frequently, but I typically overlook mostly because creatine has been around since my early days in the sport and it's one of those topics that I tend to just brush off because there's so much information out there but I realize I've seen some new stuff lately that I thought might be interesting for you guys so let's talk about creatine monohydrate and what it is it's an amino acid that is available in food that stores itself in our muscle cells and probably has more research behind it than any other supplement on the market in fact when it came out um, I got my hands on a couple bottles of creatine in a product called Phosphagen HP and I was immediately amazed at the response I had to it. So I would consider myself a hyper responder to creatine and here's the problem. Sometimes when you get in the habit of taking these supplements and then you stop, you don't realize the impact. But I've recently gotten back into my creatine supplementation. Yes, I am sponsored by Core Nutritionals and this is the creatine monohydrate that I use and you can get it at corenutritionals.com using my discount code PAULR20 and get 20% off. But I gotta be honest, creatine monohydrate, it's pretty inexpensive. In fact, it's probably the best bang for your buck you're going to get. In fact, that jar right there, I've been housing it. I've been doing the loading protocol and man, have I been loving it. It's one of those things that you sometimes take for granted. Have you been taking your creatine monohydrate? I know I wasn't. You know, I went through a phase where I was so focused on bodybuilding and so focused on myself for such a long time that I actually kind of came out of that phase and kind of just relaxed myself a little bit. But I've been invigorated lately. I've been enjoying training. I've been getting stronger in creatine monohydrates there. So let's talk about how we should use it now. Early on, there was a lot of talk about when to take it. And if you do take creatine monohydrate, those plasma levels are going to increase about an hour after you take it. However, the real power in creatine is when it saturates the cells. Once it saturates the cells, it's going to improve our performance. Now, how do we saturate the cells? Well, we need to ingest it consistently over a period of time. Back when I first started, they used to suggest these loading protocols of 20 grams a day for up to 10 days or two weeks and then backing it down to three to five grams a day, which I would always do gladly. Why? Because when you load creatine at that rate, drink a ton of water, eat, train hard, you gain weight. I would regularly gain five to 10 pounds in a week. Now, what is that? That's water weight. For a lot of us, we worry like, well, where is that water going? Well, as I said, creatine saturates the muscle cells, so it stores more water there making energy more available for our workouts. But I saw some research recently that I read in the past and I missed this. It talks about how to load it more effectively. Instead of loading it, say, five or 10 grams at a time every hour or two, you can load one gram every 30 minutes and improve the uptake at which creatine is loaded initially so that you're not basically just pissing it away, all right? Because when you load creatine, a lot of it gets excreted in our urine. So what we wanna do is, if you're looking to optimize it in a short amount of time, try one gram every 30 minutes until you reach that 20 gram threshold. What I typically do is five grams every four to five hours throughout the day when I'm in a loading phase, just because what I found is if I have 10 to 20 grams at a single time, it becomes difficult on my digestive system. So maybe in time, we might find that there are health complications, but as of now, it seems to be completely safe. And as someone who's been using it for the greater part of 20 years, 
without any health complications, I can safely say I would recommend it. And actually, it's on every client training program that I have. Now, what I typically suggest for men is three to five grams per day once you've loaded or once you've reached that saturation point. Now, if you don't wanna load, you don't need to, okay? You can just start with your five grams per day and keep that consistent. For women, because they typically weigh a little bit less, I usually suggest three grams per day, okay? That is how we're going to use this to build muscle. Now. Why does it help us build muscle? It improves performance. It is not going to build muscle for you. You cannot take creatine and expect to build muscle just by taking it. No, it is basically a way for us to express ourselves in the weight room and with our resistance training that improves the outcome. Because what builds muscle? Progressive overload. If you're able to lift more weight over longer periods of time, tends to reason we would have more muscle and this is why supplementation works. Supplementation is not an advent to improper training, to improper diet, or improper lifestyle. By that I mean sleeping and stress need to be in check. Your training program needs to be at least high enough quality that it's challenging you on a regular basis. And your diet needs to provide both the outlet for you to train better and also for you to recover, okay? All those topics I've, I've discussed on other videos, so I'm not gonna get into that here. But when it comes to supplementation, when it comes to the supplements that I take and I recommend, I'm not suggesting that they're going to provide any magic. In fact, my favorite supplements currently are the ones that are really allowing us to prevent fatigue and also recover better and just feel better in general. Those are the supplements that tend to be my favorites at this time. I can get more into that later if you guys would like. But for today, for today I just wanted to discuss creatine. Why I use it for muscle building and I gotta be honest, Kind of excited about it again. It's something that I hadn't taken for a while, but um, you know, once I started popping this in my pre-workout shake every day, well, I noticed an immediate difference. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.